Well, even before this announcement, Senator Ted Cruz of Texas vowed that he would get this nominee confirmed by whatever means necessary, get him through the Senate. Does Judge Gorsuch live up to Ted Cruz's expectations? Senator Cruz was there for the announcement, and he joins us tonight from the White House. Senator, thanks a lot for coming on. Had you Tucker, been elected great to be president, with you, and, thank you. And congrats on the new show, by the way, and well, all the success you've enjoyed. Well, I appreciate that. If you'd been elected president, is this the judge you would have chosen <laughs> for the Supreme Court? Well, I'll tell you, I think Judge Gorsuch is, is a home run. Uh, I, I am very, very happy. During the campaign, President Trump promised the American people if he was elected, he would nominate a principled constitutionalist to replace Justice Scalia. And tonight, President Trump kept his word. He honored that commitment. Tonight was a big, big deal. Did you know this was coming? Were you involved in, in vetting him? Well, you know, it, it's remarkable, Tucker. This has been, I think, the most transparent process we've ever seen for a Supreme Court nominee. Last year during the election, Donald Trump put out a list of 21 nominees, and he made an ironclad commitment he would nominate from that list. So we all had the opportunity to vet those 21. The right. voters knew about it on Election Day. And, and indeed, in the weeks that, that have preceded this, the White House and the President have been actively consulting with members of the Senate, asking for our advice and consent. And, and I think Judge Gorsuch's record, he spent a decade on the Court of Appeals being faithful to the Constitution, following the law, demonstrating judicial humility, and not legislating from the bench. And I think that's exactly what the President promised the American people. It's what we expect in a Supreme Court justice. Will he get through the Senate? I believe he will. Uh, you know, a decade ago, Judge Gorsuch was nominated to the Court of Appeals, and he was confirmed by voice vote, which means not a single Democrat spoke up in opposition to him. And, right. and the question I would ask Senate Democrats now is, what's changed? What has changed? A decade ago, you were willing to confirm him to the Court of Appeals, and the only thing that's changed is he has a decade of an exemplary record. You know, you know something he said tonight, Judge Gorsuch, was very important. Any judge that agrees with the outcome of every case he decides is probably a bad judge. You know, a judge's job is not to pick which litigant you like better or pick which outcome or policy right. you like. It's to follow the law. And I've spent this week and last week reading many of Judge Gorsuch's opinions, and I think it reflects exactly that humility and fidelity to law that, that, that makes him a worthy successor to Justice Scalia. So you're advocating for him on the merits, which is great, yes. but it's a and I hate to ask you a political question, but it's, I think it's meaningful. How exactly yes. is he going to get through the Senate? Like, what's the scenario for that, do you think? Well, I, I believe he will be confirmed. Uh, I think on the record, his, his, his academic record, his background is extraordinary. You know, he, he is a graduate of Columbia Harvard Law School. You know, he was a law clerk to Byron White, who right. is John F. Kennedy's only Supreme Court nomination. Right. He was a Democrat himself, Byron White. And, and Judge Gorsuch's record is such that, that, that he has demonstrated the, the intelligence, the humility, the faithfulness to law that I think Republicans are going to vote for him. But I also hope and believe a number of Democrats will as well. Those Democrats who were willing to confirm him 10 years ago, I, I hope that they, they will make the same decision now. Enough that he won't have to get through on a simple majority. Well, we will see if Democrats decide they want to try to filibuster this nomination. I hope they don't. I think that'd be a mistake for them to do so. But I'll tell you this, Tucker, one way or another, I believe the Senate will confirm Judge Gorsuch to the Supreme Court. The Democrats are not going to succeed in filibustering this nomination. Right. And President Trump is going to meet his promise to the American people. This election was really a referendum on what kind of justice should replace Justice Scalia. And the Senate is going to help President Trump meet his commitment to the American people to have a principled constitutionalist on the Supreme Court. One way or another, message received yeah. uh, on that. So if he is, or as you say, when he is uh, confirmed and joins the Supreme Court, what practical difference will it make? Can you name a couple decisions uh, pending before the court and how you think he'll rule on them? Well, the justice he is replacing is, is Justice Antonin Scalia, who was truly a, a lion of the law, was an extraordinary conservative, was someone I, I, I knew and respected personally. And, and, and I, I believe that Judge Gorsuch is likely to follow in the pattern of Justice Scalia, following the law, vigorously defending the Bill of Rights, our fundamental liberties, whether religious liberty, whether the Second Amendment, whether our, our, our basic rights protected under the Constitution. And right. so what that means is it will maintain the balance of power on the Supreme Court. If Hillary Clinton had been elected and a liberal judicial activist had been put on the court, 
we would have lost much of our fundamental religious liberty. We would have lost, or at least it would have been, our Second Amendment right to keep and bear arms would have been greatly imperiled. Principles of federalism would have been in danger. I, I believe, based on his record, Judge Gorsuch will respect federalism and separation of powers that, that, that were reflected uh, in the Constitution. And, you know, I'll tell you a quick story, Tucker, that I just shared with Judge Gorsuch. When Antonin Scalia was nominated to the Court of Appeals and, and the FBI was doing the background check, uh, Scalia got a call from his family priest back in New Jersey. And the priest said, Nino, the FBI called. They're asking questions about you. But don't you worry. I didn't tell them nothing. <laughs> That's pretty good. So a lot of, I think a lot of conservatives, certainly ones who are voting for you in the primary, but even ones who didn't, look to you as a, a, a good judge of judges. And so just to be totally clear, Judge Gorsuch has your seal of approval. This is someone who you conceivably would absolutely. have chosen had you been elected. Okay. Uh, absolutely. And I will say that, I mean, I took the time to read a number of his opinions and, 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 and yeah. really to ask the question, for anyone to succeed, Antonin Scalia has an enormous responsibility. And, right. and I think his demonstrated record on the Court of Appeals provides a proven record to suggest he'll do that. My advice to the president in the White House was look for a proven record. Don't roll the dice. Don't let someone say, trust me, but look for a proven record because the stakes are too high for us to take a chance. I think that's exactly what President, right. president Trump did here is he looked for a proven record and he kept his commitment to the American people. So my, my last question is Democrats are going to say, and I'm sure they already are, and it's not a crazy point, that the former president, Obama, put up Merrick Garland. He had a right to do that constitutionally, and Republicans mm -hmm. refused to allow that to go forward. Why should we play ball with this? I mean, if that's the new standard, we don't like your guy, we're not even moving on it. What would you say to that? Right. You're right. That's the argument many Democrats will make. I yeah. think they're fundamentally different circumstances. Uh, when Justice Scalia passed away, he passed away last year, right in the middle of a presidential election. For 80 years, the Senate has never confirmed a Supreme Court vacancy that occurred in a presidential year. And, and right. what the Republican majority in the Senate said, before any nominee was made, before Merrick Garland was nominated, before anyone was nominated, the Republican majority quite rightly said, we are going to leave this choice to the American people. It's a presidential election. This seat is enormously consequential. And so the voters, we the people, can decide which direction the Supreme Court's going to go. And, and this election, I believe, was in many ways a referendum on the court. There were few, if any, issues more right. important on the ballot than that question. And, and the American people overwhelmingly chose a principled constitutionalist who will be faithful to the Constitution and the Bill of Rights versus a liberal judicial activist, which is what Hillary Clinton promised us she would appoint. Hmm. That's an interesting point. Senator Cruz, thanks for joining us tonight. Thank you, Tucker. Good to be with you.